Hello class, this is just a, another example of calculating the area between two functions. But this time there are a few more conditions that we need to consider. Let's calculate the area enclosed by x equals negative 2, so this vertical line here, y equals 4, so this horizontal line here, and the cubic y equals x cubed. So if you can visualize the area we need to calculate, it's actually this area here. Now it may seem rather difficult, but really there are only two functions here. We have the function y equals 8, that straight line, and the bottom function um, uh, y equals x cubed. We actually already know the bottom interval, so it's going from negative 2 up until some point here. We need to figure out where these two points meet. Well, we can figure that out rather simply. Y, oh, we can let y equals 8 and y equals x cubed equal each other, so we get x cubed equals 8, taking the cube root of both sides, and I hope you can see that that's actually just going to be 2. Now for this, the integral, or the area, is going to be the integral from negative 2 to 2 of the top function. Now this seems rather strange, because the function is actually just 8. 8. Because now remember, this f of x, we can think of this, ah uh, sorry, this y equals 8 can be considered f of x equals 8. So the function is just 8. So we have the function 8 minus the bottom function, and now notice how the cubic is always below the horizontal line up until that point. So that is going to be the bottom function, so x cubed dx. So our integral is actually just going to be negative x cubed plus 8 from negative 2 to 2. Nothing too difficult. So here we go. Increase the power by 1, divide by the new power, and not forgetting the current coefficient. Plus, for a constant 8, we just add an x to it, from negative 2 to 2. Now it's just a matter of taking all the values and substituting it into x. So 2 goes first, minus the exact same thing this time with negative 2. Nice and straightforward. Straight into the calculator. Let's take a look at what we get. Negative 1 quarter times 2 to the power of 4 plus 8 times 2. This first bracket, I get 12. And putting negative 2 instead in my calculator, I get negative 20. 12 minus minus 20 is 12 plus 20, so we get 32 units squared. Nice and straightforward, there's nothing too difficult about this example. So yeah, hope to see you in the next example where things will get rather tricky. Hope to see you then. Best of luck.